Hey there, it's the camel again and welcome to a very special episode and I can't say how much I'm looking into it and how much I was looking forward to it. Uh, but basically what you look at, and you might have uh, seen this already in the title, I'm building something for a very well known and uh, much liked roller coaster called Taron, which is located in the Fantasia land here in Germany. And um, yeah, the man who is recreating this beautiful coaster in the entire area um, gave me the chance to build actually in his park and try to yeah kind of contribute to his um, project. And yeah, what should I say? He's also here with me. And so I just want to say hello to you. It's uh, Mr. Fluffstar. How are you doing? I think that's me. Uh, yeah, I'm doing fine. How are you? Yeah, I'm fine too. Thank you. And yeah, first of all, thanks so much for giving me the chance to kind of, yeah, take in and, and step into your project and, and build something for you. Yeah, thanks for having me. I think you're even more excited than I am <laughs> for that. Uh, so I just wanted to say that I actually didn't build the roller coaster itself uh, because you said like I was recreating it. Um, the layout was built by someone different, but I built the whole theming, so yeah. Ah, okay, but yeah, well, you, you know what, we will just put the link or the name or whatever from the one who built the entire coaster as well in the description below. Um, I already said uh, before we were going into this recording, guys, I uh, talked to Flafsta a little bit before and I said that I tried to um, yeah, keep the camera um, towards this area over here and not showing too much. So you will see in the end a few screenshots of this area, but um, you've got also kind of a, a little series on your channel, right? Where you uh, started the build of the uh, Taron area, right? Uh, I think started is the right way to say it because I never really continued that uh, series because yeah I was a bit too annoyed by it. Um, <laughs> I can definitely tell this. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I told you that already. Uh, I need to have many projects. I think it's the same with you um, to have a big motivation. And I'm really surprised that you have such a big motivation for that project because I don't have any more. Um, but. I think I will have after that episode. Uh, I will try to finish that. Um, yeah, and I think I'm going to do some last episodes on my channel there. Yeah. yeah, it's very cool. So guys, I would really recommend to watch the first, uh, uh, yeah, at least first episodes of the series. It's uh, way more con I made three. <laughs> yeah, it's actually, it's fine. I was, okay, I, I watched all of those three. So I didn't know actually if there were a fourth one, uh, because as you said, <laughs> I was kind of uh, into my projects so much. Um, it's actually hard to watch other one series I I try to do it all the time and I'm always skipping through them honestly um, but it's hard to keep track with other ones anyway um, I, th I think that this recreation and yeah I you know I think we already talked a lot uh, within the last few weeks and you know that I'm kind of a little bit uh, special about recreations and planet coaster I, I told you that I'm really happy that you make this series or you just started to build this because I followed all of your screenshots and I'm so happy because this is really a great recreation and you put so much passion and uh, skill into it and as I told all of you guys um, when I was building Space Mountain I'm really that kind of guy who really I think if you're going to do recreation do it right that's yep. the first thing and yeah I, I really hate like all of these kind of I made a recreation just for the sake of recreation thing on you know there are so many things on the workshop or so where I completely agree in that yeah, yeah. Um, that's why the most people say all oh, recreations are boring and stuff but if you do them right they're really really genius like your, your space mountain uh, recreation I was blown away by it um, but when you look up other space mountain recreations you think well that's kind of crappy <laughs> Yeah, and I must say, even though, and uh, now I'm just getting for a few seconds over to the Space Mountain one, I still get some comments, and um, those comments are mostly about kind of the interior isn't that well done and stuff like that. And I have to, you know, it sounds weird, but I have to agree. Like, those guys are right. Um, if you do the recreation, I would have done the interiors a little bit more, I have to say. But I had a certain feeling that there will be something in the future from updates we can use more. So I was kind of annoyed of the interior of the coaster itself. Because like for the Space Mountain, it's this really special um, thing that you do have those billboards inside, which have those holographs on, on them. And you couldn't just do it with VFX. And so I thought, you know what, fuck it. I <laughs> just keep it as it is and that's it. But anyways, let's get back to this area here because I just wanted to tell you and um, 
You asked me to build the kind of transition into the Asian area. I don't know if you guys out there all know the Fantasia Land. I will drop down a link to the Fantasia Land uh, overview so you have an idea where the where the Taron is located. And this is actually the transition towards the Asian themed area. Even though the Asian area isn't built yet by anyone. Um, but yeah, I think right. that will come sooner or later. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I mean, I just... Um, I just tried and and um, kind of tried to find out how many pieces you used already in this uh, area. So it's, um, I think it would be doable to make kind of several blueprints out of it and then later on stick it together to one big Fantasia land. Um, and there is kind that's of exactly what we what we plan to yeah. do. Right, it's it's kind of this big project, right? I've I've seen yeah. this a few times already. Yeah, is it also in Shiga's world, by the way? Do you know that? Uh, no, it's not. We're just posting. I'm, I'm posting some of my updates on several forums and the f uh, whole park updates or whatever are posted on the Fanta, Fr uh, Fanta Friends forum, which isn't yeah, specialized, uh, specialized to Planet Coaster. No, but, it's to the yeah. Fantasia Land, yeah. I, I might just drop down a link as well. If you send me that link uh, after this episode, um, I after the recording, actually. I I'll try to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and yeah, don't stress. I think this will be released tomorrow or maybe on Monday. Kind of something like that. But uh, yeah, yeah. That's pretty cool. I, I like um, how uh, this big approach. And I've also seen already the um, recreation of the Black Mamba, which has been done as well. And yeah, I kind of like this one. It, I think the one who built Black Mamba has also built the layout for Terran, by the ah, way. Ah, <laughs> he was the guy. Okay, so that yeah, that yeah. does explain a lot, <laughs> because um, I mean the Terran layouts came out crazy, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's really, really good. Though I must say, my brother also made one, uh, even back in the days of the Alpha, and it's mm -hmm. really similar. Uh, and uh, I think both of them are pretty great. I couldn't well. And in the meantime, I think I'm a little bit better at, at building with the Planet Coaster Coaster Builder, but um, it's so damn smooth, and that's the best thing about this layout. I mean, like, the layout yeah. itself isn't that hard to build, but to get the transitions right, that's pretty hard. I think it's even harder to get the uh, scale right, because you yeah, need... That's that's the most, or the hardest uh, thing when doing recreations. It's, the scale of the buildings and of the coast itself because um, especially with Klukheim everything is wrapped around the coaster uh, the scale of the coaster needs to be perfect to get all the scales of the buildings right yeah so what you can do I actually did this with um, Space Mountain and actually this is the first time I'm ever telling this because I, I never told this because it was a little bit annoying actually um, the thing with Space Mountain was that you n I, I couldn't go with the actual size because the game doesn't offer pieces to build the actual size of Space Mountain. So I measured it at the beginning with the 4x4 four four meters tile and mm -hmm. um, compared it to the... I, I got some contacts to people who have uh, pretty detailed plans of Space Mountain in uh, Disneyland Paris <laughs> and uh, really thankful for it. And I kind of made down um, a photo on um, Photoshop and then kind of brought in the tile from Planet Coaster and, and kind of tried to make a little bit of a map and what I just figured was that the entire size of a coaster station was already bigger than the actual coaster station would be in the different Paris version. So what I had to do is to scale it up all by the same amount. And so I measured it and it was 1.45. I had to scale it up. And so I said, okay, <laughs> I, went, I, I go with 1.5. So the, the thing itself is 1.5 times bigger than it would be and also the layout is 1.5 times bigger than it is. It's in quite a lot. Yeah, it is. Um, it's With <laughs> the layout, it's not that bad, actually. I thought it would have been worse, but it is kind of okay. But you you feel it um, when you then, when I was later on aligning it to the music, I was kind of, I had to cut the music a little bit different because the coaster itself was a little bit longer than it would be. So, yeah, it was a little bit of a flaw, but I think there was no other way to do it. That's it. <laughs> um, I just wanted to say that I'm a bit blown away by the detailing you're doing right there. Uh, because I, you, sh uh, you sent me the screenshots already of some, um, yeah, of some scenery stuff. But seeing that being built is pretty interesting right now. 
There's no, so I, much detail going into there. Yeah, thanks. I, I love it all the way. If I do see um, uh, yeah, th those kind of time lapses from other people, um, I, I'm always blown away. And by the way, I did a mistake over there. I don't know if you've spotted it, but I will correct it later on. Um, I made this lower part of this kind of crane bridge holding, molding, whatever it is, um, a little bit too big and it goes a little bit to the right hand side. Um, which is not the case in real life because I searched in all of your photos you sent me and I just saw, okay, uh, I have to move it in a little bit, which I'm doing right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. As you yeah, can that see. looks better. <laughs> yeah, so there we go. Yeah, it was kind of um, difficult to see because one picture I had had kind of a false perspective in a way. And I, I was kind of fooled by this perspective and then I tried to find some other pictures and I saw, okay, that makes no sense at all. And I just, yeah. Yeah, that happens so of, with recreations. You're building some something with one picture, and then you look it up with another picture, and then you think, "Oh shit, yeah, that was completely wrong." <laughs> That's definitely right. Yeah, and um, I have to say, um, this one, I, I mean, okay, it's it's really hard to to put it in words. But with Planet Coaster, I don't know if you experience it the same way. But every time you step into a new uh, kind of themed area, you kind of learn how to use different pieces in the game again in a different way even though you yeah. thought that this already was the best way to do it and i have to say with this project i kind of got myself a little bit more into wooden texturing and i have to say it's crazy how much different textures the game offers to to blend into each other and i think you can really greatly greatly is that even a word i don't know but <laughs> it's really great <laughs> it's really great how you can um yeah, blend wood patterns together so that it's really interesting to look at, but at the same time it really remains this kind of rustic wood feel yeah. to it. Really amazing. It's pretty crazy how many different wood pieces the game offers. Yeah. Um, yeah. I noticed that with the even first building I built, uh, you know which that was? That no, was the, no, tell me. Uh, the, the entrance actually of Terran, with the Terran sign on it, you built later on. Um, <laughs> oh, not okay. in the Okay. Uh, um, oh, yeah. There was the first building, and there were so many different wood pieces I used already. And there was in December, I started to build that. Um, oh. That's quite long ago. Yeah. Um, and after the updates, there were even more wood pieces, and I was, oh shit, I need to use that now. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. I mean, like, um, the thing is, I don't know if if you feel the same, but <laughs> the funny, the funny part about it, is I I played this game since the first alpha, and I. Except the very first Alpha 1, I would say, um, from Alpha 2 on, onwards to till today, I wasn't able to kind of, yeah, just get used to all pieces until the next update already came. So, like, it's the same yeah. now. I, I okay. kind of feel like, uh, okay, now you're used to the spring update a little bit. Now you know where all the pieces are and, you know, I, I can just go on with it. Um, and I get a little more efficient now. But now the next update comes already again and I have to, again... Um, yeah, just tr change a little bit the way I do work in the game. But this is the really cool thing about this. I mean, in terms of uh, in terms of the sandbox mode, it's crazy. I, I haven't even built every coaster in this game. I haven't even built every flat ride in this game. I don't know when I should do this. I mean, like <laughs> <laughs> after one station, the next update comes. It's, at least it feels like that. <laughs> I never crazy. built in the career mode, so yeah, that's the same for me. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I use every coaster now because I'm when I'm building, especially with Klukheim, and I think uh, I'm bored of that. I'm just building a coaster next to it. Like you, you just saw that in the background. There's a giant uh, vertical coaster. I don't know mm. why, but no, I don't know why. Just because. It, it's <laughs> okay, but maybe I think you have been in uh, Fantasyland as well. Maybe you want to tell those guys out there how Taron is in real life. Okay, so I mean, you're part of the Taron hype now too. Um, <laughs> Terran is, out of my over 100 coasters I've ridden, uh, my favorite. Um, not only because of the coaster itself, obviously, because the uh, theming is brutal. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. It's just mental. It's mind-blowing. So the, the coaster has uh, extreme airtime and yes. has brilliant G-forces, but the theming adds to it. It's so brilliant. Just perfect. Yeah. <laughs> 
but you have to ride it at least two times to get a little bit of a feel of the theming. I, the first time I've ridden this one, I was so blown away by the by the sheer amount of of transitions and of air times and of uh, the transitions are crazy. Yeah, yeah, um, that I couldn't even spend an eye on what's going on outside my brain. That was. I think I've been on it four times in the front row. Um, after I try to concentrate on the uh, theming. Yeah. yeah, that's the same for me. Yeah, it was crazy. And I loved um, when I stepped out of it the first time. It was really crazy because I, I just came out and I was feeling a little bit, you know, my my legs and my knees were a little bit like, okay, what have you done with me? And um, <laughs> then I came out and the, uh, the girl who was just looking um, for the bags in this kind of security um, chunk, whatever, where, where you drop your bags in when you yeah, yeah, no. She was smiling at me and I was the first to go out and waited for my girlfriend and the others who were in the car behind me. Um, and she was like to me, it's funny, isn't it? And I was like, what? She said, yeah, well, they funny. Are, yeah, she was like, um, all the people are standing in a row and they're just looking and you hear them talking. Yeah, it's not that bad. It looks not that bad, right? And when they then finally come out of the coaster, they're like, their faces are kind of you can't pay money it for doesn't it. even look that fast off right no uh, it doesn't but when you it, it looks i don't know pretty slow actually but when yeah. you're on it it's like a different ride yeah it's crazy it's you, wow I, I just i wasn't my brother was also there and he, he told me that's maybe one of the best coasters in the world and i was like okay but we've ridden so many other good ones and yeah when i was finally there and the first time on it i absolutely knew what he said and then i was I just had the chance to take the last ride of the day when they had the hardest tires on the coaster. Yeah. And they even speeded up the coaster a little bit more than in the mornings. And it was, again, one step more. And it was so crazy. You need to get there when uh, it's dark. There's Then the coaster is amazing. I mean, the whole experience there is just... Yeah. I can't describe it. It's... Yeah. yeah, I think I will uh, actually go there as well at least two times this year again. Maybe even three. I don't know. But um, Not living too far away from it, so... Yeah, yeah as, same as you. It's For me, it's uh, less than an hour, so... It's uh, really easy to go there. And I also thought maybe I, I'll take one day off, off for work. Maybe, I don't know if I get it done this year, but that's actually the best thing to do. Just to, yeah. just to be able to, um, yeah, kind of use the park when there are less people in it. Oh, some copy pasting going on there. Yeah, of course, of course. Copy pasting is so important. Yeah, but in that area, it's nearly impossible to do that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, re that's, re that's right. I, I also um, noticed that. So as you can see, I just changed the color of the patterns a slightly little bit um, because I was feeling I had to separate it a tiny little bit from the actual building, which is uh, the transition. But this mm. is really the only part of the entire area which you can actually do some copy pasting because that's the only wall which remains kind of equal the entire time that's so crazy i think i only use copy paste for the um rocks sounds stupid but uh, by the way the rocks are wooden planks but yeah, yeah I, this kind of yeah i used it as well because i was uh here you can see that's by the way what i said i just used it and changed a few things uh so that it's looking a little bit different than the other ones before and that's all i did and then i glued it <laughs> to this again just but i think i will try to edit this edit it a bit more so it doesn't look too repetitive yeah yeah you you can do so but as i figured there are also um a few things in front of it so there's a big chemnin also in front of it which has to be you haven't built that right no i haven't built that okay yeah. i haven't built um yeah. all this stuff which is below the level of the transition i have built the the, the bridge by the way and i'm really happy with the bridge <laughs> i must say i just went there and yeah, i will okay. see that later yeah <laughs> i i guess it's already we are already there uh if i'm correct or i think i uh, had a big break. Yeah, I, I might have a little bit of a break there in the time lapse. I will keep it in because we just have the commentary now aligned to it. I'm pretty sure that I looked up some images in the meantime to <laughs> to check um, actually some textures of the bridge because I. By the way, by how many times that it's sped up? Uh, it should be ten. Okay. Should be ten times. Yeah. yeah. I tried uh, recently with 12 times and uh, 12 times was also the the amount of speed I used in the alpha stages of uh, Planet Coaster but it feels like you 
uh, since we got all a little bit quicker in the game in general and um, mm -hmm. the mechanics allow us to build a little bit quicker, 12 times is nearly impossible to watch. You g really get nausea out of it, out of watching it because it's too fast. So I, yeah, I keep it mostly at 8 to 10 times around this. Yeah, I think that's good. Cool. Yeah. Um, so, building the bridge. Oh, it looks good. Yeah. It's until now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I was so confused. I, I needed to put the game on play, I thought, um, for the Coast King Coaster Christmas edition over there. Because it was like, I was sitting in my room. We had like 40 degrees outside, at least it felt <laughs> like. And this Coaster King Santa was in this park. And I was like, no fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I had to do that. <laughs> It's so I was like, what the hell is he doing there? But I just, <laughs> yeah. I still don't know why I put him there. That lantern looks gorgeous. I already said that, but looks perfect. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I actually have no idea. Uh, maybe I have to tell it, guys. Um, uh, We just talked about, okay, I'm just doing this, this building over there as a transition. And then I just thought, okay, maybe let's go into the bridge as, we um, as well. And I was like, okay, this lantern. This is a challenge, let's do it. And I came across um, this little iron thing to use and in the end it, it turned out to be working pretty nicely though. So I think I will use it for some other pr um, areas in that themed area. Yeah, grab well, all of my stuff, use it wherever yeah. you want, do it. Because <laughs> um, I failed a bit with the uh, lanterns um, in the previous episodes, so... <laughs> okay, I haven't seen too much. Oh, there it goes already the oh. time lapse, by the way. But we're as done. I said, yeah, we're done. But as I said, I will put in some, maybe even cinematics. I don't know. Let's see. Uh, but at least some screenshots so we can now gently end this episode. But yeah, again, thank you so much that I could take part in this project. But honestly, after being in the Fantasia Land myself, I couldn't resist and <sighs> I needed to ask. Or so. No problem. I think it w that was a good decision because I saw that it looks pretty good what you built. So I'm happy with your work. <laughs> oh, thanks. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I'm really happy, and I hope you con you guys continue. And um, yeah, maybe if you need some, we'll definitely work, do. Then uh, just just tune in. Maybe I can, yeah, fit it in somewhere in between. And guys, please out there for all of you watching this, um, there are a few things to say now. First of all, if you don't know Taron, watch yourself some on rides. Be jealous that you're not living in Germany. Well, on rides don't do this course of justice. That's so. right, but if you're living in the US, it's a little bit hard for them to go over here. Okay, that's true. <laughs> and I think the majority of my subscribers are not from uh, middle of Europe. Actually, I don't know too much, but I think the majority is US and, and Netherlands, of course. <laughs> but those, your Dutch people, Dutch friends, I think most of you have been there already. If not, book your tickets now. You have to go there. <laughs> it's it's crazy. Yeah, but um, that said, also check out um, Fluffstar's channel, and which uh, with with this you can also see the first three episodes. And as I have heard now from you, also the next, maybe the, the future ones as well, right? Yeah, I try to. <laughs> yeah, I mean. First of all, get this thing finished because I want to ride it then. I actually, I secretly wrote it a few times in the game. It was just too much fun. <laughs> I didn't know you that, but no problem. <laughs> oh, didn't, didn't you? What? Ah. <laughs> no, 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 just, <laughs> just kidding. I didn't do. No, I did. I actually changed the coaster itself, but I told you already. Mm. <laughs> oh, what's, what's just a joke, man? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> mm, what did he do? Rudy. Rudy I was scared a bit now, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no. All fine. All right. So, yeah. Thank you for being here, mate. That was really cool to, to have the chance to be a little bit of a part of this Klugheim yeah, area. Yeah, really fun. Thank you. Okay, guys. So, see you the next time and bye-bye. Bye-bye.